Well, hello everyone. Welcome to PBM Bending. Today, I want to do something a little unusual. We're going to compare two free stock purchase places. One is Robinhood and the other is Weeble. Now, I did not set out to do this. It, I just kind of stumbled on it. As those of you that have watched my videos know, whatever I do financially for the ministry, I then do for me personally. And so when I was doing what for the ministry, my son told me to go to Robin Hood, and I did, and um, I had some issues with it, but it was because of my lack of uh, technology, um, not for any other reason. Um, and so then a couple of months later, I went in to set one up for Weeble. Well, originally I went in to do another one for Robin, another account for Robinhood, but they will only allow you to set one up. So then I had to search out other places, and there was other places I could have gone. E-Trade was one, uh, and there was a couple others, I don't remember. But I picked Weeble. For a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, I have uh, a lot of the videos that I watch, they use Weeble as a uh, link. So I'm assuming that if I had signed up on Weeble for one of those, they would have gotten a free stock. And I thought about it, but then I thought, wait a minute, these guys that I watch have plenty of money. They don't need two free stocks. I'm not doing that. So, anyway, so I decided to go ahead and do Weeble, and they did have two free stocks that I have yet to be able to claim, by the way. But when I got all done with Weeble, um, I decided that the experience was so different uh, between the two that I was going to do a video, just so that everybody would know. And I'm going, to, the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to go step by step. I actually made notes. I normally don't operate with notes, but this time I did just to make sure. <coughs> now, when I signed up for Robin Hood, um, signing up was very, very, opening my account was very, very easy. Um, in fact, uh, my computer, all I did was type in one letter of my name and it went through and filled in most of the other blocks so I didn't have to go through all that. There was a couple where they weren't playing nice and I had to go in and, and manually do it, but for the most part that part was easy. The hard part uh, signing up for Robinhood was they don't go into your bank or your checking account, they go into your electronic banking I never did electronic banking. So I first I had to set up an electronic banking account. Then I had to figure out how to hook that up to the account that I just created. I never was able to figure that out. So I had to have I made two phone two separate phone calls to my bank and had two very patient ladies talk me through it and I finally got it hooked up. Now, signing up for the Weeble account was a nightmare. Uh, it, my software didn't fill in any of their boxes. I had to go through and do it all by hand. I don't know why. Different software, I guess. And hooking it up, I thought I knew how, from the Robinhood account, how to do that not even close. I had to make another phone call, actually two more phone calls, uh, to get that hooked up. It took me four days to get from filling out the application to getting it signed up and hooked up. Uh, okay, so we've I've got accounts hooked up, hooked up to my electronic banking. The next thing I did 
was trying to fund it. So for the Robin Hood account, I uh, put the money uh, into Robin Hood, I transferred it, went to go buy stocks, and they said, no, you can't do that. Well, it takes a minute. I didn't realize that. I got up the next morning, and I got an email from Robin Hood that said, congratulations, your order was placed overnight. I thought that was pretty good. When it came to Weeble, I tried to transfer the money and go buy stock, and they said, you have to wait five to seven business days to make sure that the money gets here. And I was like, okay, this sounds not right to me. This is digital. I understand that it might take 30 minutes or an hour, especially for skipping time zones. I get that. But five to seven business days, so you're going to have uh, my money for five to seven business days before I can even use it. That don't sound right to me. And they used every bit of the five days, by the way. Now let's talk about the free stock. As soon as my account was opened at Robin Hood, they put this little screen on there and it had three or four different stocks and you had to click on one and that was your free stock. Showed immediately. I knew the stock. It was on my list. It was all good. Weeble, I've had that account open now for about a week and a half, almost two weeks. I have gone three different times to try to figure out how to get my stocks. I can't. They sent me an email and there's like eight steps I have to go through to get my two free stocks and I haven't had the time to sit down and do it yet. They're making it very difficult. Oh, and there's a 30 day expiration. If I don't get them and figure it out in 30 days, I lose my two free stocks. Again, we will feels a little sketchy. They're going to keep my money for five to seven business days and I got to jump through eight different hoops to get my two free stocks. I didn't care for that at all. So then I went to purchase stocks and I told you that with Robin Hood I got up on a Saturday morning and I got an email saying hey we did your purchase for you congratulations you now own the stock. Said, okay cool. So Weeble, I went to purchase the stock, and first off, the first time it told me, no, you got to wait five to seven days. And, the, five, and the, the money that I put in there never showed on my account for a couple of days. When it finally showed up, it said account value and then the amount of money that I put in there. So I went to shop and purchase stock. So I, I knew which one I wanted, so I went in to purchase it, and it was, it was complicated. I had to find the right screen, then I had to verify my numbers two or three different times just to place the order, which that part doesn't bother me too much. I'd rather have too much security than not enough. Um, but then, okay, so the first day, I placed it, it said order placed, and I came back after work and the money was right back in my account. No stock's been purchased. So the next morning I got up and I did it again. Came home at night, same thing, still no purchase. On the fourth day, I came home and purchased it, and it was purchased almost immediately. Now I thought, well, maybe it had something to do with the stock price. The first two days, what on the stock that I wanted to purchase, the price was lower than what I locked in at. On the day the sale went through, the stock went up a lot. So it didn't have anything to do with that. I, I don't know what their deal is. I had heard that they only buy stocks one time during the day which they need to find another way around that. That don't sound right to me. So 
Anyway. Okay. Start researching the stocks. First off, I researched the, I, I got the names of stocks I wanted to research from Google. And I would put in the parameters, pardon me, the parameters. They would give me recommendations. I would go through and research each one individually. And then I would research the companies. And then I would go back to the sites and see what uh, their recommendations were. Very simple, but so far effective. Then I went to Weevil. They have, they are much more chart oriented, much more research oriented, much more detail oriented, which is fine. But it's really uh, kind of difficult, especially for new people to the site, to try to figure out how to uh, move themselves around within the app to, to maximize its use. Now, when I finally figured out how to, oh, and they sent me an email telling me how to buy stock. That email meant absolutely nothing to me. I, I actually wrote the steps down and went to try to do them. There was no way from the screens that I was seeing to do what they told me to do in the email. The two were completely non-relational. But I played with it long enough that I figured out how to, how to buy the stock, how to pull the stock up, how to research the stock, and then how to go purchase the stock. The frustrating part for me with Weeble, the research was fine. I, I appreciate the detailed research part of that. But it's the not knowing when I'm going to buy. So now I'm looking at a four window, a four day window between the time I pick a stock and fund it till the time I can purchase it. And that's after them holding my money for five to seven days. So they've had my they've had my money just sitting there for, for uh, 9 to 14 days. Just sitting there. They're doing whatever it is they please with my money for 9 to 14 days all the while I'm trying to buy stock and they're, they're just not doing it. It just doesn't seem right to me. I have no problems at all with Robin Hood. If I go in there and place the money, pick the stock, Boom. It's done. So out of the out of the items that we talked about, and that would be opening the account, hooking the account up to the bank, uh, depositing money into the uh, into the app, trying to get our free stocks, researching the stocks, and purchasing the stocks. Through all of those things, Weeble was only better at one of them, and that was the stock research part. On every other level, Robinhood was ten times easier. The charts were easier to read. The purchase was easier to figure out. I didn't need to jump through eight hoops to get my free stock. I didn't have to... Uh, get an email explain to me how to purchase stock. I didn't have to wait five to seven days to place my order in another four day window before I could actually purchase the stock I wanted to. In four days that stock could have doubled in price and I could have been out. So if you're trying to pick between Robin Hood and Weeble my strong recommendation is go to Robinhood first. Now, some of the websites will tell you, unless you're an advanced uh, stock person, then go to Weeble. I know a little bit about stocks and how to research. 
I still would rather go to Robin Hood because there are other resources that I can find to research. I don't need my life complicated by a complicated uh, app to buy stocks. So, between Robin Hood and Webull, I give all the benefits to Robin Hood save one. And even that one was complicated to use. Well, there you go. I hope if you use it, let me know. Let me know what you thought. See if I was right. See if you agree with me. Well, you guys have a great week and happy investing and happy venting.